Hey guys, today we're going to be making a gummy bear. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thank you. Just a quick note, the project files are linked in the description so you can use it to follow along. To get things started, let's add a cube and we will set the number cuts to 2 and smoothness to 1. Then we'll jump into sculpt mode and try to refine the shapes a little better. It doesn't have to be perfect because later we would be remeshing and sculpting again. So you could probably take your time and just get a rough idea of how you want your gummy bear to look. So I think it's about time to add the legs. So let's drop a slim in the scene and keep the polycount low. And we can reposition it just above the floor plane and get it to a good spot, like right about there. And then we can draw a mirror modifier to make things super simple. <laughs> now, wasn't that easy? Now let's duplicate this guy and make his arms. We'll just rotate it a little bit and get it in place and make sure it looks good. And that looks pretty good to me. Now let's move on. Now that his arms and legs are in, we can probably tweak the body up a little better. Now we can create his head. So I'll make a cube and I'll subdivide it. I'll set the number cuts to two and smoothness to one. And I'll make it a little big so he looks a little cartoony. And I'll duplicate this shape and make his ears. I'll start scaling them down and putting them into place. Now we can make his snout and nose. So I'll grab the head one more time and duplicate it. And I'll put it in place. I'll scale it down and bring it back a little bit. Then duplicate it one more time and create his nose. Now I can shade smooth to get an idea how my gummy bear looks. Once it's looking good, I'll apply all the modifiers and join the object. At this point, everything looks great, so I can start remeshing him. So I'll jump into the remeshing tab and choose voxel remesh. Now I can start sculpting again. I'll smooth everything out so he doesn't look so boxy. Make sure the symmetry button is checked so you only do half the work. Now he is getting there but we have to bring back some of the details, so I'll choose in Fleet Brush and start building this guy back up. So right now I'll put my Sculpt Brush in Subtract mode and carve out some eyes for my gummy bear. You can do this by holding Command on your keyboard or Control on your Windows PC. I'm quickly going to add some details to some parts I felt lost some volume when I smoothed earlier. This should be pretty quick. I'm not going to stick around too long and make it super detailed. I feel pretty confident about the gummy bear. So now I'll create a plane for him to sit on. Now I'm slowly going to scale it out and make sure it's big enough to support him. Now I'll add some materials to the floor and the gummy bear. Now I'm creating a camera setup. I'll make a folder for my camera. Then I'll add an empty and throw in a camera there as well. I'll reduce the size of my gummy bear as well because it is really massive at this point. I'll finish my super simple camera rig by renaming my empty to camera target and making it a target for my camera via the track 2 constraint. I'm just going to pop open a 3D viewport and reposition my camera to a point where I feel looks good. I'm also going to change the focal length to 80mm. Now I'm going to work on some materials. I'll add an HDRI to help with the lighting. For this project, I'm going to use the Cycles Render Engine. And switch my device from CPU to GPU. Now let's start tweaking our material and try to get something that looks similar to a gummy bear. There's a couple things we should focus on for this one, especially transmission and specular. They go hand in hand to help you create a realistic looking gummy bear. You should use these settings as a jumping off point to create something that is unique and your own. I'll take a screenshot of the final material so you can use it as a reference as you create your own super cool gummy bear material. I'm just going to let the video play for a while so you can get an idea of how I created this material. But it's super simple. I just played with the transmission and the specular and I also added a mix node and I added a layer weight to it to give it some color variation. I 
I really love Blender's node-based material system. You could really get lost in it. There's so much options and so many things to play with. The sky is pretty much a limit when it comes to the material editor. I'm going to tweak my render settings by bringing my transmission a little bit up and bumping down my overall samples. Then I'm going to pop in a quick render to see how it looks. And it looks pretty good, but it's a little too smooth. So I'm going to add a bump node to roughen things up a little bit. Again, you don't have to use the exact same settings I used. Instead, you could use it as a jumping off point to create something unique in your own. Now let's pop a quick render and see how this guy looks. And he's looking pretty good. I think I'm going to bump my samples up now to probably around 500 and do another render. I think we did it guys. I think we created a super cute gummy bear. Great job. Thank you so much for watching guys. Catch you in the next video.